Welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Dragoon with me, Chang Gang Chad. It's time for some training. Hey, Master Tasman. You're alive. You're safe. Yeah, a guy who taught Dart how to use a sword ain't gonna go down so easily. Yeah, too bad the village couldn't be saved. Yeah, we heard about Shauna. We're gonna rescue her. Yes, sir. Yeah, Red Dragoon's not here today. But uh, he and I pretty much hang out on a weekly basis. So he'll be back. He will be back. Believe me, once we started this whole thing, ever since then, he's just been looking forward to doing more. I really hate how slow the text moves on these tutorials. There may be a way to fix that, but they're short, so I don't exactly care. Yeah, I forgot to mention, I didn't switch the additions in the menu. You have to go into the menu to switch them. But uh, for the purpose of some of these tutorials, they automatically switch you to Volcano. So we'll be showing that off. Now he's, of course, telling you most of the stuff I already told you about. The squares overlapping one another and you hitting the button at the right time. Gray means too fast. Blue means too slow. White means perfect. Like that. And now we get to try it out ourselves. Yeah, Dart's practically on critical health, but he's going to fight his master. <sighs> time to show off Volcano. Good, Dot. You do well, young pupil. I don't need another try. I'm good. And here's something new. This only applies to additions that have more than one or two button presses. Hence the reason they switch you to Volcano, because it's the only one we have right now that fits that criteria. Yeah, enemies don't just stand around while you beat the hell out of them all the time. Hints of a counterattack are what he just did there. You'll see in here that little flash animation. The thing will turn from blue to red, and you need to hit the circle button instead of the X. Hmm. To keep the attack going properly. Yeah, if you do it perfectly, then... You'll break through the counterattack. If not, like he's saying right there, you'll be blown away and your attack ends. So, here's a demo of that. <laughs> Sorry about the little bit of lag. I'm sure it doesn't bother anybody that much. We're good with the counterattack. I think a lot of the others are just him telling you stuff, but uh, we'll look at it anyway. Yeah, you can also guard during battles. If you guard, then you'll restore up to 10% of your maximum HP, and any attacks on you up until your next turn will be, the damage will be half. And it protects you against abnormal stasis, and believe me, those will come into play later. And now he's just talking about obtaining additions. Like I told you before, pretty much most additions are obtained just by leveling up. However, each character, well, almost each character, each character that does additions has a final edition that can only be obtained by mastering all their other editions. And how do you master them? You use each of them 80 times. The more you use an edition, the more powerful it gets. Yeah, like he says there, select the one that suits you. So, yeah. 
That's very true. It does depend on your skill. You can really just keep using one addition the whole time if you choose to. That just means you found something you're comfortable with and you, you're just fine sticking with it. So, now that that's over, let's get ready to leave. Yeah, I don't really need practice. I kind of wish I could heal, but... Well, actually, I can. I think I will. I need to show off some of the menu stuff anyway. Yeah, here's where you can use items that they allow you to use outside of battle. Right now, the only thing we have that we can do that with is healing potions. Yeah, they recover up to half of your maximum health. This is for... Unfortunately, there's a limit on how many items that you can carry. You can only have up to 32, so later on you'll probably want to discard stuff in favor of getting new items. Yeah, One of the slight drawbacks about this game, but hey, it makes it challenging, so good enough for me, I guess. Goods is mostly just useless stuff that you're not particularly going to actually do anything with for the most part. Just letting you know what sort of things you have. Yeah, obviously status kind of speaks for itself. And here in the armed menu, you can select equipment for your different characters. We only have Dart right now, and all of the equipment we've even got, he's already got on him. So, yeah, that's it for that. Here's the additions menu. Yeah, they switched us back to Double Slash. I'm going to go to Volcano for right now because it does more damage. I'll go back to Double Slash occasionally. Replace. Later on when you get more party members, you can use this menu to switch who's going to be on the battlefield. Dart, however, can never be switched out. Hmm. Config does some stuff that, well... It's not really that important. I just keep it all the way it is because... <laughs> I guess I could turn vibration off just because I don't even have a controller. I'm just using a keyboard. I'm sure you already knew that. Yeah, so there's the sound. The morph thing will come into play later. I still like normal, though. That's pretty much it. It's time to leave the village. And now we get a shot of what's going on in Helena Prison. Uh, there's Shauna. Hey! What the hell? What's wrong with you, man? You're not supposed to treat a girl like that. Poor Shauna. Don't worry, Dart's coming. I'm gonna pause for a second just to get rid of this fluctuation. And we're back. Much better now. <laughs> yeah, frugal. He's a big guy. We'll be tangling up with him. Bank on it. The man in the hood. Definitely a lot of mysteries about that man right now. Ouch. How's he control? <laughs> How's he ordering that big guy around? Well, you're letting somebody else order you, so what do you have to say for yourself? Oh, and uh, that's why he should keep his mouth shut around this guy, apparently. He's got a sword. 
if you can cut the hell out of it. <laughs> and here's something funny. Yeah, he just randomly throws some of the guards into the pit. <laughs> <laughs> and this represents the simplicity of the map pretty much just going from point to point so anyway next time we'll go into the forest I'm Chang'e Chad I'll see you next time